In this video, we'll install Visual Studio Code and the Microsoft Visual C++ compiler to provide build support for C++ on Windows 11. I'm going to start on this Windows 11 desktop, and in my browser, I'm going to go to code.visualstudio.com. I'm going to click Download for Windows, and that will download this executable file, and you'll notice that it's called VS Code User Setup. So I'll double click on that, and you'll see that I get this warning that says the user installer is not meant to be run as an admin. And that's because my local account is an admin account. So if your local account is also an admin account, you'll want to download a different version of the Visual Studio Code installer. So I'm going to click Cancel and go back to the website. And on this first page, I'm going to choose the Other Platforms link. And I'm going to find the System Installer instead of the User Installer for Windows and I'm going to choose the 64-bit x86 version. And so that'll download a different executable, and you'll notice that this one is just VS Code Setup. There's no user in the name. So we'll go ahead and run that, and we will accept and hit Next, 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 and I'm going to create a desktop shortcut icon, click Next, and Install and I will select Launch Visual Studio Code and choose Finish. So Visual Studio Code will open up to its first page and provide some options for configuring your preferences. I'm just going to close this for now and I'm going to go over here to the left to this bottom icon which is the extensions icon. Click on that and then in this area I'm going to click in the search bar and I'm going to search for C++ and what I'm looking for is the extension named C forward slash C++ from Microsoft. And I'm going to go ahead and click install for that extension. Okay, so that's installed and I'm going to just hide this extension panel. And when that installed, it should automatically bring up this checklist of things that we need to do to get up and running with C++. And the first thing is we need to install a C++ compiler because the extension does not come with a compiler. So on the right here, we have a list of options in terms of compilers we can use. The first one that Microsoft suggests is to use the Microsoft Visual C++ compiler. And so there are some instructions on how to do that here on the right. And if we want to do that, Microsoft suggests that we run this command here, which you can scroll horizontally and see the whole thing, and that we should run it in the VS Code terminal. The shortcut for that is control and that's the back tick key. It's very small. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And when I do, this terminal area will pop up at the bottom. And then I'm going to select this command, the entire string here. And I'm going to control C, copy it, and control V, paste it down here in the terminal area and I'll hit enter and you'll see that that finished however this little red dot here you can see that it says the command executed and failed so because that seems to be the case here on this stock Windows 11 system what I've seen suggested is an easy way to deal with it is just to go and download the tools that the command would be downloading and we can look at the command and identify what those are. So let's just do that instead of worrying about why the command's not working. So I'm going to navigate to visualstudio.microsoft.com slash downloads. And there's a bunch of things you can download here, but what we're looking for is the build tools for Visual Studio 2022. And that's in the tools for Visual Studio section of the page. So I'm going to go ahead and click download on that. And that downloads an executable. So we'll jump over to that. It's VS Build Tools, and go ahead and double click on that. And so we'll run the Visual Studio installer, click Continue. And in this menu, we're going to choose the Desktop Development with C++ option. And go ahead and click Install. Okay, great. It looks like this is installed. 
So I'll go ahead and close this installer. And I'm going back to Visual Studio Code. And if you recall on our instructions here, so that we can verify that the compiler was installed, we need to open the developer command prompt for Visual Studio. And we can do that by typing developer in the start menu. And we do see an app, developer command prompt for VS 2022. So go ahead and click on that. And it says we can check this installation by running the command CL. So I'll type CL and hit enter. And you can see that we do get a message back that indicates the compiler is installed. We're good to go there. I'm going to close this. I'm going to go back to Visual Studio Code and click Find My New Compiler. And you'll see this menu pop up. And we only have one choice, so we'll definitely choose that. And that's what we just installed, the cl.exe. I'll click on that. OK. So next, let's go ahead and move on. We'll create a C++ file. So I'll click that button there. And that's going to create a file for me over here. You'll see this pop-up that recommends that I install the C slash C++ extension pack extension from Microsoft. And I do actually want to install that. So I'm going to go ahead and click install on that. And you'll see that that brings up the extension marketplace and then some information about this extension that we are installing. And now that it's installed, I'm going to close the extension marketplace on the side over here. And I'm going to close the information about the extension and go back to writing our first C++ program. So we're going to just write a really simple C++ program here. I'm going to include IO stream. And we're going to use the standard namespace. And we'll write a main method. And we're just going to write a simple hello world program. So we're just going to print out hello world. and then return zero. I'll go ahead and save that. I'm going to create a folder for it. And I'm going to call that test app. And I'll save the file inside of it. And I'll name the file test.cpp. Click Save. And now you can see there's a little play button in the upper right corner here, which will allow me to either debug the C++ file or run it. So I'm going to go ahead and just click that icon. And I have an option here with what tool do I want to use. I'm going to choose the first one here. And then you'll see on the bottom right a little error message. And what it indicates is that the debug that's built in is only usable when Visual Studio Code is run from the developer command prompt. So I'm going to close that. And we're going to go back over here. And we see that there's a little bit more information about this down here. And it says that we need to start Visual Studio Code from the developer command prompt for all the environment variables to be set correctly. And we can try relaunching it that way. So to do that, what we should do is open that developer command prompt. And we're going to type code into the command prompt to relaunch Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to close Visual Studio Code. And I'm going to go to the Start menu, and I'm going to type in developer. And I'm going to click on Developer Command Prompt for VS 2022. Once that loads up, I will type in code. I will hit Enter. And we'll see that Visual Studio Code is loading up. And it seems to remember where we were. Here's our test program. So let's go ahead and click that Play button. And we'll choose the same thing. And this time you can see it is actually running. And there we go. Uh, it's our output of Hello World in the terminal. And so now we are all set up and good to go with developing C++ in Visual Studio Code on Windows 11.